Hi, this is Terry Love with a warning about back-to-back rough-in plumbing. You don't want to use a double sand cross or a double fixture fitting because what happens is it will push a column of air forward, pushes water up in the bowl which slops over the trapway and you lose water. Watch what happens when the other bathroom is being flushed. Boom! You see the water rising up and a little bit of water slops out. What happens when you flush it a second time? So, if you have one bathroom where people are constantly using that bathroom, then the bathroom that's not being used so much, every time somebody flushes the other one, you lose water. Now, I kind of like water in a bowl. I think it's a great idea. Both Kohler and Total, both Kohler and Total recommend that you use a double Y fitting. Using a double Y fitting and not a double sand cross or a double fixture fitting. The double fixture fitting and the sand cross both push water out of the bowl when the opposite bowl is flushed. Both Kohler and Toto know this. I know this. Heck, I've been noticing it for 20, 30 years, ever since we've come out with the better toilets. So, if you're looking at a 1960 bathroom with a double sand cross, that's not the right way to plumb it in modern times. Modern times, according to Kohler and Toto, is to use a, use a double Y fitting if you're going to use a cross type fitting. Now there are other ways to plumb back to back to don't use a cross fitting at all, which is what I'm more inclined to do because most of the time you don't have that kind of vertical space. So you've seen this happen a few times and you can see that bit by bit by bit you keep losing water. There are other ways to plumb guys. Uh, if you're going to go vertical, go with a double Y fitting. Do not use a double sand cross. Do not use a double fixture fitting. This is what happens when you do that. If you want to know anything about plumbing, terrylove.com forward slash forums. We have all kinds of information for you there. Hope to see you there.